This is a vase or a vase, as some people would say, very, very thick. And so I saw this little trick and I thought that I would try it. This was $12.99, but it was a half price sale, kind of Black Friday deal. So $6.50. I think it was seven bucks with tax. And we saw this on an episode actually of Tanked. And when I got to meet Brett this summer in Vegas, I actually asked him if this was real, if this was, you know, something that was just like for TV or if this was something that, you know, they actually did. Um, if you've never seen the episode, the guy that plays Redneck on there, I think his real name's Rob, he takes some of this um, basically twine and he puts it around the bottom of a bottle or a vase type of thing uh, in order to make some basically some little breeding chambers for fish and little hideaway things out of I think that show in particular was beer bottles that he used um, but I want to make a cave or, or a bridge out of this so I'm gonna wrap this around and I am going to pour, um, make sure it's kind of tight and close together here. There we go. I'll put it right at the bottom. And he put it around two or three times. And um, basically what we're going to use as a, uh, as a fire thing here is this is um, just good old nail polish. Which is um, basically uh, very, very flammable. I think acetone is its official name. But anyway, you can get this pretty cheap anywhere. There's tons of it around here between Alyssa and Miranda. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to squirt this on the rope, get it nice and saturated, let it soak in for a minute, and then I'm going to light it on fire. Okay. I'm going to hold it over here. We're going to see what happens here. And let it go for a while. Or I hear stuff breaking. Get it nice and hot up there, and I'm going to try to dunk it in here, see if we can't cut this off. Oh, I think it might have worked, dude. Look at that crack all the way around the bottom. Look at that crack all the way around the bottom. I think it might have worked. Let's take a look here. See how it cracked all the way down? Wow, dude. Might have to like tap it a little bit. See that crack all the way around? Whoa. Bet you if I gave it a few taps or something, we'd be able to get that out of there. Let me get like a stick and try to poke down at it a little bit. That might have worked, dude. Let me get something. All right, guys, got this whole piece of bamboo in the shed out here. Um, I'm just going to kind of knock it down a little bit here and just kind of see what happens. Oh! Dude, it totally worked! Isn't that awesome? I mean, it's not a perfectly clean edge, but it's pretty dang close. So we're going to make sure we knock the rest of that off and we're going to be able to um, caulk that up. Here, let me take the rope off so we can see Dude, that's awesome. So now I got a big, huge aqua bridge for six bucks, dude. How cool is that? We'll kind of, I'll take some pliers to this, make sure there's no thick edges, super edges there. But yeah, that's, uh, I, I don't know how long that is. I got to measure it. But that's a nice, big, long one, nice and thick. Look how thick that is. <laughs> super cool. So we're going to get this into the other drains and end up making that second aqua bridge. Um, because we couldn't really find a really good hurricane that was this long, that was this thick. So that worked awesome, man. 
So this is what the end looks like. Basically, kind of like an ashtray. <laughs> um, and again, a little jagged, but not incredibly sharp. But um, it doesn't really matter that it is sharp because this is going to be inside of this cap. Um, and then there's going to be, obviously, um, silicone all around it. So the fish and turtles won't be exposed to any of this. It'll be tucked inside of here, right against this little rim here. And there will be silicone all around it. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you how that came out. This is what the end piece looked like after I dumped it out of the bucket. Um, pretty clean break, so pretty neat. So stay tuned and hit the notification bell for future notifications. And we're going to kind of show you how we're going to finish this whole bridge up here by putting one of these on either end. We'll see you soon.